Is it not? You know what? I've had this open for a long time. I use like the, the free version of Photoshop, which is like a version of Photoshop from like 2005. <laughs> so it has all sorts of weird quirks, um, but it's free. CS2. I don't know what year that came in, but it's free um, uh, and it works. So I use it. Um, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Um, sometimes you need to reboot it to get it to work properly. So you're going to see the process of me doing a placeholder background. And I usually like doing red over black because um, it's sort of a tradition for me. Uh, back when I did freeware games, I would always trace the, uh, I would use photographs as reference. And I would trace over a lot of the photos using, you know, if I traced over it with black, it was often hard to see. But I noticed that when I traced over it with red, I could see the lines a lot better. So I would do red. Um, and that sort of became my tradition is to do red on black. And so naturally, when I ever I post a placeholder art image, uh, people always joke, oh, it looks like Mystery House or it looks like a... Um, Nintendo Virtual Boy art. I've heard all those jokes. <laughs> so you don't have to make those jokes. Um, so you basically I'm doing an, a, a cheapo apartment building. It's an apartment, um, a cheapo apartment that like an old professor, a retired professor and his retired uh, police detective wife live in. Um, but I'm not going to really add a lot of detail because... Ben does that for me. I just want something playable. Um, let's see. Uh, and also I've learned, um, we're trying a thing. I don't know if Ben is going to be watching this, but I'm going to try a thing. We're trying a thing where I don't show him my placeholder art anymore because often, you know, I'm no artist. I, I do things flat, you know, it's flat on. Um, I think it's called, uh, the art term I think is one point perspective. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you um, what my old. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I just lost the screen here. Um, <laughs> clown. These are all the uh, the the. the I, sh I shouldn't actually. I shouldn't put that on the screen. That's not right. Because those are people who auditioned, and I I shouldn't show who they are. Um, let's see. Um, I want to show you my placeholder backgrounds. So the background that I just showed you, the one uh, in front of the lab, that was, I think, lab uh, building exterior. That was this. That was this. Um, and Ben turned it into uh, this. And his is much better, obviously. But he kept the same perspective. He kept that same flat-on perspective that I did. And um, ah, I lost it. Just a second. So, yeah, he kept that same. Yeah, so this was mine and this was Ben's. So he kept the same, you know, everything is at the same angles because in his head, when he sees my placeholder version, he says, like, that's what the scene looks like. That's what it um, that's what it's going to be. And I kind of want him to. I want him to be free to make up to when he's when he does his own art without any input or whenever he doesn't see my placeholder art, he goes he makes it so incredible. So what I'm doing now is I'm just giving him the descriptions and seeing what he comes up with. Um, so this thing that I'm drawing now, uh, I don't think Ben usually it's too late. It's like two a.m. where he is, so I don't think he'll be seeing the stream. So I'm not going to show him this image when I'm done. Uh, I'm just going to give him a description and then it's fun to see afterward like what it looks like. And we did that with the last section of Unavowed. If you played it, um, there was uh, like the, 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 the pocket realm at the end of Unavowed. I didn't show him any of my placeholder art and he actually really enjoyed it. And he just kind of went nuts with it. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to scroll up the chat here. I was about to make a virtual boy quip. I've heard it many times. Um, I look forward to being successful enough that someday that I can afford to use the current version, of Photoshop, current version of Photoshop. I mean, it's so expensive if you're not a student. It's like it's over a thousand dollars. It's insane. Like, 
I, I don't, you know, I don't get it. I guess they realized that everyone was pirating it anyway, so they made like a 15-year-old version available for free. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's insane how expensive it is. Red, black, and blue make for good design works. True. Um, looking forward to watch you make the next great game. Thank you, Jadim, Jadim Jedi. Jadim Jedi. Uh, wireframes. It does kind of look like wireframes. Um, but, but can't help but hear Foster and Joey's voice from Steel Sky. I might have thought the same thing, but it's pretty entrenched now. Uh, people saying hello to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Photoshop is $10 a month now? Really? I had no idea. Do you have to pay an upfront fee or is it just $10 a month and you're in? Um, that's really cool. Uh, just picked up Order of the Thorn. Uh, really sad Adventure X isn't happening this year. Me too. It'd be happening in less than a month. Um, I am so upset. Like it's And it's weird. I've been getting tons of... Uh, um, emails from airlines saying here's a cheap flight to london and it's like you know, a i wouldn't step on a plane now if they'd have to pay me to step on a plane and pay me a lot but it's just weird that i they're contacting me now um, about flights to london when i'm really missing being in london i don't know if there was some algorithm that i that got kicked off when i i don't know uh anyway i want this to be smaller i sh- i don't want to put a lot of effort into this because it's going to be completely irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant once Ben gets a hold of it. But uh, one thing I want to try to do is make you come in through here. I want this to be the front entrance. One thing I'm also trying to do, uh, for Unavowed, I managed to successfully do this. This game, it's not as easy. Um, because even though it's time travel, it's mostly very mundane, mundane settings, which means like, you can't really justify people hanging out outside all the time. So it's going to be a lot of indoor locations, which I, I always sort of make fun of myself for that. How like in, especially in the earlier Blackwell games where everyone, a lot of the reviews kept saying, Oh, it shows off New York so beautifully. And my thoughts were, no, it doesn't because it's all inside. Um, but for epiphany, we really, um, did a lot of outdoor stuff. And one thing I made a point of doing was if there was an indoor location, there was always a huge friggin' window that showed off stuff. So that's what I'm doing here. Here's a big friggin' window. Whoops. Uh-huh. And also, let's see. So this is how I do placeholder art. And all right, let me, I want to grab one of my character sprites to use as a reference. Again, I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into this. I really shouldn't. Uh, ha, Logan. That's from back when uh, this was, uh, I um, originally was making a, uh, unavowed sequel like a year ago and then when I decided not to do that I just made a backup of what I was doing and then just changed it into old skies but for some reason you could tell you could see the legacy because here's Logan and KK <laughs> oops and I'm kind of kind of using KK's like whoops yeah she's not in the game or maybe she is you just can't see her anyway um I am getting my sprite of Thea. That makes the most sense. Uh, chrono suit Thea. Yeah. Come on. Copy sprite to clipboard. Here we go. It's not going to look very nice because um, it's got a lot of um, alpha transparency stuff, which... It would normally have a, a transparent channel, um, but whatever. I'm just using it for height comparison. Uh, she is it's way too small, so I am going to bring this up. Whoops, you know what? I'm going to bring this whole thing down. I really don't need to put even th- this mon- minuscule amount of effort. I don't, even, I don't really need to put into it, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm a pro.
Yeah. All right. That's about right. I mean, kind of. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to stress about it. Um, whoops. I'm not going to stress about it, he says, while he stresses about it. So I'm just going to cut all these lines. I am professional. This is how I do things with art. Sometimes I, like, spend a lot of time on my placeholder art when I'm really trying to, like, if, if the background of the placement of things is really important to, like, a puzzle structure, I'll spend a lot of effort on it. But most of the time, I, I don't. Um, so for this, uh, I want... There's three important things that you need here. Um, there's one photo on the wall. And another photo on the wall over here. And a shelf. Um, with something on it, which is a slight spoiler, so I won't mention what it is. I'm going to put that on another layer so I can move the shelf around if I want. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I hate drawing things in perspective, so I'm going to put this photo. Whoops. Ah! I'm moving this photo over here so they're whatever they're on top of each other. And then I'm going to draw my cheapo shelf on this shelf because it's easier to draw when things are face forward. Um, and Ben will make this look pretty. I have faith in him. Boop. Oh, why did I do that? I just wanted to look vaguely like a shelf. I mean, kind of looks like a shelf. Um, and I'm just gonna add three of those. Four of those. Uh, crap, now I don't remember which ones were. There we go. And now I'm gonna fill it with black. I'm assuming I'm filling the right things, even though I can't see it. I believe that's correct. Yep. OK. And then I want to put uh, something on the shelf. There's an object, which isn't really a spoiler. It's a, it's a re retired police officer who lives there. So she's got her badge, her old badge on a shelf, which is an important clue to a thing. And when the game comes out in about two years, maybe you'll remember that, maybe not. So I'm just going to make a little <laughs> stand and it's put a little, it's got a badge on it, whatever. There we go. <laughs> badge on a shelf right there. And for the pictures, let's see. Um, first picture is family dog. I'm just gonna put all, bring all that together. Family dog. We. Tail. Legs. <laughs> Family dog. Yay! Done. Um, and then mailbox with the 
happy couple in front of it. newlyweds moving into a new house and they're showing off their mailbox with their address on it which is a clue to a puzzle um, and that's my background what do you think shippable should I ship it like this and just so we're extra clear window That's my background. So I am not going to show that to Ben, and we'll see what he does. Uh, I'm just going to describe like who lives there and the objects that need to be there and uh, kind of what their personality is like, and he'll kind of go from there. And, you know, so we'll see.